What's going on guys? Welcome to the RA Visuals YouTube channel. So if you just got a shiny new cloth mouse mat, and it looks pretty sick, right? Well, let me guess. You put it on your desk, and you put your peripherals and stuff on it, and you probably just forgot about it, right? You probably started getting your sweaty hands all over it, spilling drinks and food all over it, and if you're as unlucky as me, even possibly knocked over an entire cup of coffee on it. Yeah, I'm a disgusting human. No matter, today we're gonna fix all of that nastiness and I'm gonna give you a few easy ways that you can clean your cloth mouse mats and take them from this to shiny and new like this. And you know what else is shiny and new? The merch from my merch store. RA Visuals merch is finally here fam. We have partnered up with streamerware.com to bring you some really awesome and high quality threads with your favorite RA Visuals logo on them. We have hats, shirts, pullovers, hoodies, heck, we even have coasters for your coffee mug if you want. I've also included an alternate logo version that you can get every item in as well, so be sure to check that out. Of course, everything you grab supports the channel and helps me keep making more content for you guys to enjoy. So head over to streamerware.com and check out my collection using the merch link in the the description and cop some fresh new gear to show off to your friends. Okay, so if you are new to the world of desk pads, let me show you a couple of my favorites really quick. These are from a company called Odin Gaming, and they're called the Zero Gravity Gaming Mouse Pads. Uh, one of the best mouse pads you can get, in my opinion. Great fill on the top, very grippy on the bottom. They don't move at all. They're awesome for your mouse. And did I mention they look crazy good? Check this out really quick. Let me go ahead and unbox one for you. I just got this one. This is the Alex Odos V2 right here. So, uh, guys, a lot of these end up on group buys. Uh, those things where you kind of have to buy them and then, like, forever later you end up getting them uh, but some they're currently available and whatnot they come in these really big xxl sizes and i gotta say they look really really cool too there you go that's what this one looks like pretty freaking sweet right if this thing was to get spills and stuff all over it or food and whatnot over it let me show you guys a couple of tips on how to clean it. Okay, first, let's start off with the surface debris that may be on your desk pad. You can get rid of this with a small vacuum or an electric blower like the one I have and use it to blow all the gunk off your pad. Just watch out for things in your desk that might get blown away in this process and try not to break anything. Also, be sure to clean it off the floor after you do this though. Don't be gross and leave it on your floor. Make sure you vacuum it up. Or if you use the little hand vac, then don't worry about that. Second, if you have an animal in your house that sheds. What's up guys? Welcome to Ricky's YouTube channel. No, not her. Go get it. Bring it back. Yes, them. If you have an animal that gets hair all over everything, you can use a lint roller to clean all that hair off the surface of the mat and then even take care of some of that surface debris as well that gets stuck on top. All right, so assuming if you've had your desk pad for quite a while, you might have started to get these weird like scratch marks on the top that start to appear on the surface of the mat. And you can use a simple microfiber cloth to clean off those surface scratches and get rid of them. Just simply rub the microfiber rag over the scratch surface and watch them go away. Now, of course, some marks and stains are a bit too much for the first three tips that I've shown you. Now we're gonna go ahead and pull out the big guns. My next tip is to actually put your desk mat in the bathtub. So with some laundry powder or soapy water, which I'm gonna use here, and carefully go ahead and rub it into the top of the desk pad with a clean sponge. And after that, you go ahead and pull it out of the water and pat it with a towel to dry. And then once you do take it out to dry, make sure you hang it up somewhere, not in direct sunlight, but hang it up somewhere where it can air dry and then you're good to go. And finally, if the bath method doesn't interest you, you can always use my number one preferred method. Throw them in the washer on cold wash. Listen to me, look right here, look at me. Cold wash, not hot, just cold water. Okay, I think you got it. So in doing this, I don't even use detergent or anything. You can, but honestly, I just throw mine in on cold water and give it a quick tumble and bam, I pull them out and let them air dry after that and everything is good. Guys, just make sure you listen to me, put it on cold water, let it tumble for a bit in the washer, pull it out, air dry it, and everything will be good. All right, so really quickly, this goes without saying, but I'm just gonna say it anyway because I know someone's gonna ask or someone's gonna try to do it. Only the first three tips I showed you in this video will work for both cloth mouse mats and mats that have RGB around the edges. Do not, I repeat, do not put RGB mouse pads in the bathtub or the washer. You're basically going to ruin your mouse mat and the RGB will not work anymore if you do that. Okay, just quickly had to get that off my chest. Anyway, that's gonna do it for my quick and easy tips on how to clean your dirty, nasty, smelling mouse pads. 
And if you found my tips helpful, be sure to leave the video a like so YouTube will suggest more people and come see my videos. And as always, if you want to stay updated on my videos and what I'm putting out, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button with the notifications on so you'll always be updated on what I'm putting out next. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll see you guys next time.